So you're selling t-shirts online, but how do you get high quality, high end designs done for cheap? That's coming up. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to give you three easy ways to get high end t-shirt designs done for your online store, but how to do them cheap. Real quick, I wanna ask you to like this video. Hit that like button if you like these videos, if you're getting value out of the videos. Also leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. I love engaging with you, answering any questions you have. And last, I want you to subscribe to the channel. If you wanna get notified of these videos, you wanna know every time we put out new content, which is every week, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So with all that out of the way, let's jump right in. So the issue is going out and hiring a graphic designer can be really expensive. I mean, we're talking like 75 an hour, 100 an hour. You know, you might pay 100 or 200 or more for just one t-shirt design. So that's not the way to go in today's world. There are a ton of resources to get t-shirt designs done for free um, or you know, very, very cheap. So these are all ways in this video that I've used in my own uh, t-shirt store to sell, to make more sales online, to get really great designs done. And so that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you. So number one is to do it yourself. Um, and real quick, you know, when you're doing it yourself and maybe you're not experienced as a graphic designer, you don't know how to use Photoshop or anything like that. What I recommend and what I talk about a lot is um, going out and finding t-shirt designs that are already selling, that are already proven to sell and actually modeling those and changing them up for your niche. Now, I'm definitely not telling you to copy. I'm telling you to take those designs and figure out what elements of those, why, like why they're working, why people like them, and just use those same elements to kind of model it. To give you a quick example of that, you know, this is a funny example, but it's kind of the first one I thought of, is, uh, you know, everybody's probably think, seen the Thug Life shirt. It just says Thug Life. I think probably Tupac made it famous in the in the 90s. <laughs> but uh, So I saw one earlier that was really funny, and it just said Thug Wife, right? So it's just playing off of that Thug Life uh, motto and changing it over to thug wife. And so I thought that was really creative. You know, there are a ton of other examples out there of this. You know, you might've heard the, of the Supreme shirt. It's just the red box logo that says Supreme. Well, it's just a red box. So, you know, it's been redone 8,000 times for t-shirts. And so this is really the easiest way to do it because you can go out there and find t-shirt designs of just a few words and just might be a cool font. And you can actually you know, find a similar font and just do those yourself so it can make it really easy. I've got kind of a subset of ways to do this within doing it yourself. Number one is using Photoshop. Now, Photoshop runs about $9.99 a month and Photoshop can be really intimidating. I know a lot of people you know, don't wanna use Photoshop because it's they might think it's hard to learn. But I would tell you this, I've learned how to do so many things in Photoshop just from watching YouTube tutorials. So going out on YouTube and just searching for what you wanna learn, and there's a million great tutorials uh, that are just free learning for you to learn how to use Photoshop. And Photoshop doesn't have to be intimidating. When you use it for you know simple things, um, it can be extremely powerful, obviously, and really easy to use. A couple other ones are, number two is GIMP. Um, GIMP is a free kind of version of Photoshop that you can download for free. It's similar to Photoshop. It has a lot of the same functionality and it works especially well, well for those simple designs. Um, and the last one is called Inkscape. Now, a lot of people inside of my shirt school program use Inkscape to design. And I don't know much about Inkscape, but I know that it's free and I know that a lot of people prefer it over GIMP. So that might be uh, one to check out. Last thing I wanna say about doing it yourself is that there's a lot of free resources out there. Um, you know, one is Defont. Defont is a just a free place to get fonts, and there's like a million of them on there. So you can go out and get really cool fonts for free, install those, and use those in your designs. A few other ones, FreePick and Vecteasy. Those are two places where you can get free um, vector pictures, which are really great for for uh, t-shirts. And you know, there's different elements. Like an, an example is, I went over to FreePick and Vecteasy and just searched for lightning bolt, and it came up with a ton, probably hundreds of different lightning bolt vector pictures that are really, really easy to just download for free and then pop into those, pop into my t-shirt designs. And the last one I've got on here is Brush Easy. Um, I'll put all these links down in the description, but Brush Easy is a free Photoshop brushes uh, website where you can go get um, free brushes. And now brushes will allow you to do all kinds of different things in your designs. And it's just a cool uh, creative element that you can use. So those are all free resources. Some paid resources that I like, I've got two here. One is Creative Market. Um, creative Market, you can get uh, different elements for your t-shirts for you know as little as two or three bucks, sometimes up to 10 or 15 bucks, depending on what you're looking for. 
There's also um, Envato Elements. Uh, Envato is huge. They have a ton of different things, but the Envato Elements is, I believe it's about $15 a month and you pay, pay for that monthly, but you get access to thousands and thousands of resources that you can use for all kinds of different stuff in your business. And one of those things is t-shirts, a uh, ton of great high quality fonts in there, um, a ton of great uh, different resources. So that's those are good paid resources. Obviously, this is the most time consuming way. And as a business owner, you want to have as much free time as you can to grow the business, not focus on things like this. But as a solopreneur, if you want to do your t-shirt designs by yourself, or maybe you're just getting started, you don't have that budget to hire somebody, these are great resources to do that. The number two way to do it is to buy pre-made designs in your niche. So basically, there are all of these websites out here on the internet, and there's a bunch of them, where you can go in and you can get huge bundles of t-shirt designs that are pre-made, they're just ready to go. You stick them in your print-on-demand app inside your Shopify store and post them on your website and you're literally ready to sell. Like you could buy them right now and in 15 minutes have them up on your website and ready to sell. And these are really, really affordable. It's super simple. You go and buy them for sometimes, uh, you can get packs for as low as like 10 bucks for 50 designs and you know, you can pick your niche. So let's say you're in the fishing niche. You can go out to one of these websites, pick the fishing niche, download 50 designs in your niche for 10 or 15 bucks. And then you've got 50 shirts ready to go instantly. So it's a really great resource. Um, there are a few uh, drawbacks of doing this. Now, the biggest one that I can see is that other stores may be selling these designs. So you're buying a pre-made pack in your niche. So there's a possibility that a lot of other stores could be selling those designs. A good way to use these, um, these websites and these bundles are use them to fill out your store. So let's say you do some designs yourself or you maybe use the next uh, way that I have to get some designs done and you only have two or three designs on your store and those are your main ones that you're gonna go out and sell. Well, you can go out and use one of these bundles to actually fill out your store and have 30 or 40 designs in your store so it looks more well-established, you look more credible because you have more products in your store. So that's a good way to use these. Um, another drawback is just the, you know, they're not gonna be as creative um, as you having custom designs done for your store, right? And that's not necessarily a bad thing. If you're, if you're in a niche that's really trending and ties into people's emotion and is, is really passionate, has a passionate fan base, you know, this is great. You can go grab one of these bundles, go out and start selling, and these t-shirt designs will sell, um, but they're just not gonna be as customized for your store, right? So again, they're great for filling out your store, having a lot of products in your store uh, quickly, and they're very affordable. So that brings me to number three, and this is one that I've recently started doing and that uh, has been awesome. Like, I, I, I really encourage you to do this because this is, the, in my opinion, the best one on this list, and that's using Fiverr to get t-shirt designs done. Now, before you click away from this video and you're like, I hate Fiverr, let me kind of explain. Um, one, Fiverr is really, really inexpensive. Um, some people have had bad experiences with, with Fiverr. Some people have good experiences with, with Fiverr. I've had both. Um, but the great thing is, is Fiverr is so affordable that when I get one that's not great, it was only like five bucks or seven bucks. So if you want to get custom designs done, but you don't want to hire a graphic designer for, you know, 75 bucks an hour or pay $100, $200, $300 for a custom design, Fiverr is the place to go. For as little as five bucks, you can literally get a custom t-shirt design done that's ready, high quality to, to just pop into your store. And, you know, if you spend a little more, even like seven or 10 bucks, you can get really, really specific with the design. You can say, this is exactly what I want, provide them the criteria and have a custom t-shirt design done. So I highly recommend Fiverr, but you know the, the biggest drawback is just that you may have to go through a couple um, people on Fiverr to get one that, um, that you enjoy, that you like their design style, and that's okay. I've been through a couple, but lately I've been really satisfied with the designs that I've been getting on Fiverr, and I found uh, one or two graphic designers that I really like, so I'm just using them every time. And another huge advantage is, um, they're done in 24 hours every time, sometimes a lot sooner. Sometimes I get them in just a few hours and that's a huge advantage for me. I like to move with speed in my business and so when I have a shirt idea uh, or when I wanna get something out really quickly, being able to get that back in 24 hours or less is a huge benefit for me. So I highly recommend Fiverr um, for getting custom t-shirt designs done for cheap. 
I wanna thank you for watching today. And real quick, if you're interested in learning how to sell t-shirts online, or maybe you already have a t-shirt business or print-on-demand business, and you want more sales in your business, I wanna invite you to head over to shirtschool.com and watch my free, about 75-minute uh, training video. It's a free web class. Uh, it's on demand, so you can go over there and just watch it right now. You don't have to like pick a fake time or it's not some thing that says it's live and it's not. It's actually just an on-demand video training. And so you can head over there and watch that. So I wanna invite you to do that. Like I said, it's completely free, there's no cost, and I'll leave that link in the description. I'm gonna leave a bunch of links in the description for all of these resources that I've been talking about today as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next week.